Hi guys, Dr. Amy here. Now, a reason why our sciatic symptoms, so the symptoms that can radiate down the leg, can flare up is due to a postural syndrome called lower cross syndrome. So to recap what that is, is it's tight hip flexors in the front and then tight low back muscles, the paraspinals, that need to be stretched, and then weakened glute muscles and core muscles. So I'm gonna show you some exercises, one exercise for each of those muscles um, for you to do at home that you can help with this, with this issue. So the first one is how to stretch that hip flexor. So how you do it is if you wanna stretch your right leg, that is gonna be the leg that's in the back. So it's a lunge position. So what you wanna focus on is tilting that pelvis forward and you're gonna lunge forward with this leg until you go forward until you feel a stretch here, keeping that back nice and tall. You don't wanna bend forward or else you're not gonna feel it. So with this stretch, you go until you feel a good stretch and hold it for about 15 seconds. And then I would do a couple on each leg, okay? So that's the hip flexor. So the paraspinals, how do we stretch those? So what I would do is these are lacrosse balls. I like lacrosse balls because they're nice and dense, but then they're also, they have give to them with the rubber material. So what we did is we taped these two together to make what we call a peanut. So then what you do is you place the peanut right alongside the spine on both sides. So each ball should be touching one side. And then what you do is you slowly start to work your way up and down along the spine manually working out those muscles with that peanut. So that will help loosen those paraspinal muscles. And this is something that you can do at home. And I would just work that out for a couple minutes until you feel it kind of loosen and give way. So that's the paraspinal muscles. The glutes, how do we strengthen those glutes? So an easier exercise to do at home is called glute bridges. So what that is, is you're gonna um, lay flat on your back with your shoulders against the floor, arms at your sides. What you're gonna focus on is tilting that pelvis and pulling that core and flexing and activating those glutes as you do it. So you're gonna come all the way up, focus on activating those glutes at the top, hold, and then come down, touch the low back, and go back up. These are called glute or shoulder bridges. And I would do 25 of these at a time, and then you can do those throughout the day as well. So those are gonna help to strengthen those glutes. Now a good core exercise for core stabilization is a plank. Now I'm probably, we've probably all done planks, and there's different modifications for planks. So you can start on your knees to make it a little easier and slowly work up to your feet. And then as we get better at them, we can add more time and the longer that we hold them but just do what you can to start. So to start on your knees and elbows, pull those legs up, make sure that you have more of a flat back and that your glute uh, and hips sink down while focusing all on activating that core. So that's the first progression, and then you can slowly work up into getting up on your toes. And then you can slowly increase the time that you do these holds. So these are exercises that you can do at home, and you can do them throughout the day. Um, so if you have any questions regarding any of these exercises, please feel free to comment below or like and share this if you think somebody can benefit from these exercises. Thanks, guys.